How's it going today, guys? Figured I'd do kind of a year-end wrap-up. Yeah, a little bit of a New Year video to kind of talk about where I kind of want to go with the channel. So, I had a lot of projects in 2021. Um, I'm going to try, for personally moving into 2022, I think I'm going to narrow that scope a little bit. <clears throat> I have some goals I really want to attain. Um, uh, for instance, I really want to get quarter panels on the 63, which I haven't done a video in in a long time. It's just been sitting. I'd like to get the whole back half welded up so I get the doors and glass in it. So that way I can actually work on the mechanical part of it. I'm not a big body guy. I can do it, but I'd like to get a little bit farther on that 63. Um, the GT750, that's kind of on hold right now. It runs, it drives, it does its thing. It spills oil everywhere. So I do need to pull the motor and just go through it. Put new seals on the crankshaft and then I'll probably put a new clutch in it since it's been sitting so long, just to, that way it's new. Um, so we got that. Uh, I have some other miscellaneous little projects that I need to work on. Um, what else did we work on? Uh, the 47, so that's gonna continue into this year. I really need to get it to the point where I can start it up and move it. The brakes are gonna be the tricky part. Those are gonna cost quite a bit. So I don't know what I plan to do about that quite yet. People are always parting those out. So I may get lucky and be able to buy a spare rear end and rob parts off of that. Um, so I'm gonna continue on the 47 to get it running. There's gonna be some videos coming up about that shortly. Probably the next video. Uh, if not, it'll be the Triumph, the T20, Tiger Cub. I'm gonna continue on that. My goal is to have the motor together by April. Whether the video format lays out that way and it makes it look like it's a little bit later, that's my goal. Uh, there's not much to do to the frame short of brakes and tires. Uh, I have most of the cables. I got a new wiring harness for it. <clears throat> so now, right now, it's really down to uh, I got all the parts for the bottom end, I think, that I'll need. So if I get the bottom end done, uh, I really need to... The big hold back here soon is going to be the crankshaft. I'll have to see if I need a new connecting rod. I need a new piston, and I need to clean up the jug that I have, because the jug I have is really rough. <laughs> so, probably the biggest hold back on that, short of me just working on it, is going to be... Uh, getting parts uh, a lot of time. I've been having a lot of parts shipped in from England and the UK uh, Just for the f because that's where they are and they have plenty of parts. So that takes a couple weeks um, So we'll see how that goes I Still plan to work on some other people's vehicles uh, just to give a little bit more variety on there and to help them out <clears throat> So we got Ron's cars. I'll probably I'll go back. I definitely will go back and work on some of those because they're unique, different stuff. I haven't, I don't have access to, so it's kind of fun and different. Just kind of playing around with those. And there's some other little projects. I do have a start of another project. Uh, well, just I won't go into details about it, but it's going to be a big project. It's going to be a weekend long ordeal probably and it's going to get really destructive so we'll have that to uh, to look forward to um, what else do I got uh, probably as long as I continue driving these older vehicles <clears throat> I will probably uh, continue to have repair videos so that'll be looking forward to that uh, with the 66 Chevy 2 and the 79 K10 I actually have parts for both of them for stuff I need to do to them so <clears throat> I can continue in on that of course there's the the old gold 67 <clears throat> I may put that on the back burner a little bit it has a vacuum leak I know that I really need to figure that out so it's drivable 
Um, other than that, it should be, I mean, it, well, except for the starting issue, uh, it should be pretty well and good enough to move around the yard for the time being. Uh, I'll have to, maybe I'll get lucky and I'll find a lot of the parts I need for the engine rebuild at the swap meets or something. Who knows? Um, but we'll kind of go that route and uh, just try to check that out. Uh, see what we could do. I'd like to put a four speed in it, which means I need to get a four speed that's not locked up or half disassembled. So I'll continue scouring the junkyards and swap meets and Facebook Marketplace for that. Um, I have a flywheel. I actually. I got very lucky at the junkyard. Um, actually, it's a scrapyard, I've been told. Uh, people don't like you to confuse those because um, they do haul metal in and haul metal out relatively quick and quickly. I found either a 230 or a 250 that was off a, uh, I think the motor mounts looked like a, um, a C10 or a 68 through 72 body style. <coughs> it could have been a square body, but it was pretty smog. I found a flywheel off that, so that saves me about a hundred bucks. And that truck had Petronix ignition, so I just robbed the the distributor and the coil. Not that I need another coil, and uh, now I got that for the Chevy too. Um, so that'll be pretty cool. Uh, at least for the 250 that I plan to put in it, it'll be really handy. Um, it still has one leaky tire. I put bead sealer on it. I'm gonna have to pull it back apart and see what's up again. I guess a very slow leak so uh, I didn't realize it till after I bought the tires that I realized there was white chalk mark on there saying had a little arrow and I realized the um, the bead is ripped so it holds air for a while I guess it's not very dependable so I may end up having to use a spare tire The GT380, it's just gonna keep sitting uh, for a bit. Uh, I got some stuff for that, but I really need to, maybe I'll spend a weekend just knocking that out like a Labor Day or Memorial Day and just getting it to run. Uh, Cause that'd be pretty cool. But then I also, once it runs, I wanna put more money into it. hit, <laughs> you know, brakes and tires. So. And I got some other bikes that probably ought to be worked down a little bit before that. Because it doesn't hurt anything for it just to sit. So, that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, I'm hoping, hoping to continue the one a week videos. As of right now, for the next month, I have enough lined up. Um, but life changes and you kind of have to go with the flow. So, we'll kind of see how things go with that. And, um... I hope everybody continues watching and I hope everybody has a had a good Christmas, holidays, and I hope you all have a, uh, a good new year. Uh, hopefully you guys can get out and wrench on stuff. So I look forward to hearing about your guys' stories and what you guys have been working on. So thanks for watching.